Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. We're going to cover a slightly more complex topic, and that is working with ombre fabrics. If ombre fabrics are not familiar to you, typically it is a fabric that varies from light to dark or through a rainbow of colors from one salvage to the other salvage edge of the fabric. On the Maywood Studio website, I went to Fabric and then scroll down to find the Gelato Ombre Fabrics and click on that. Then scroll down and I selected one of the ombres to work with and the one I decided on was the Purple Blue Green Multi and click on the fabric. Now there are three options for the fabric and let's select the narrow one because it's got numbers behind it. Click on the arrow at the bottom and now right click on the image and select Save Image As. Navigate to My EQ8 Images and select Save. On the home screen select New Project and let's label it Ombre Fabric and select OK. Select Import and Edit Fabric Images. Select Import Images and navigate to My EQ8 Images and select the fabric that was saved and select Open. This fabric is sized currently at 8.5 inches. However, if we zoom in on the ruler at the bottom, we can see that the fabric should be 45 inches. So let's go ahead and fix that. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to crop the left and the right edge of the fabric. So I want to match those edges. I'm going to select Apply Crop and then I'm going to select Scale Fabric. If we scroll down under Scale Fabric, we can put in the measured fabric distance. Because we have a ruler, we know it is 45 inches, and so we can select Apply. Then select Crop again, and now we are going to crop off the white space and the ruler. So from the top and the bottom, select Apply Crop, and then select Add as Fabric. Now we're going to do one additional variation and we're going to rotate the fabric and we're going to rotate, select Rotate 90 degrees and then we're going to scroll down and select Add as Fabric as well. Select the block work table and select a new block, Pieced Polydraw Block. Change the block width and height to 30 inches. Make sure that Height Show Autofill on Closed Patches is turned on. Under the Grid Properties, select the Circle Grid. Change the number of rings to 4 and number of spokes to 10. Select Poly Arc and start in the center by double clicking. Follow one of the spokes to the last full circle and do a single click at the intersection. Go over and to at the next spoke do another single click and then go back to the center and double click. The patch should fill in. Select it with the pick tool and select clone followed by a single rotate and move it into the adjoining space. Continue to clone and rotate until you have filled the circle. Select add to project sketchbook. Select the quilt work table and select New Quilt, and in the Ribbon Toolbar, select Custom Set. Go to the Layout tab and change the width and height to 30 by 30. Go to the Border tab and delete the border. Select the Design tab and then select Block Tools. Scroll to the end and take the circle block that we just drew and drag it on the quilt. Select it with the Adjust tool and select Center Horizontally and Vertically. Select Fabric Tools and the Paint Brush 
and the two ombre fabrics that we saved are at the end. Now you're going to see them come in as purple because that's what's in the upper left corner. Let's select the first of the two and select swap color and click on one of the spaces. Select rotate fabric and we're going to use a combination of simple rotations and advanced rotations. For the one on the top where we can see that it is perfectly um, vertical, we can use a simple rotation and with a single click we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We can also do that for the one on the bottom. Then with the fussy cut we can move the fabric so we have the dark purple at the top and a little bit of green in the center. And I'm going to try and do that on the bottom as well. Now sometimes you're going to see that it just doesn't work. I cannot get to that spot on the fabric and sometimes when we're close to the edge EQ just doesn't like to set the fabrics. So in that situation we're going to use the paintbrush and we're going to try the other ombre fabric and click on that patch. And we're going to try to do a fussy cut with that. And I've always found that if I do that rotation, one of the two is going to work. Then select Rotate Fabric and select Advanced. And for the starting angle for the first rotation, Let's go ahead and have it set at 0, but change the number of rotations to 10 since we have 10 uh, pieces of the pie. So we're going to go ahead and do a single click, then select Simple and do a single click, select it and drag the patch. And again, you're going to have to maybe just keep working at that dragging to try to get things exactly lined up where you want them to. Continue this process for the remaining wedges. If you cannot get them placed correctly, that's where you're going to want to use the other fabric first. Now I will say that it is somewhat time consuming to get these placed. It's not necessarily a, an easy process, but if you keep sort of working with it, you can always get these lined up. Once all the fabrics are uh, rotated and fussy cut, you can hide show quilt patch lines and select Add to Project Sketchbook. Now let's put some applique on our quilt. Select the block work table and select a new block, applique motif. Select shapes and select posy maker. Let's select the petal with five repeats, size of center at 50%, petal and burst 50%, and petal width 50%, and select OK. Select the circle and Drag a circle for the center and put it in the posy. Select the draw tool followed by the brush stroke and draw a stem. To change the stem and make it narrower, go ahead and adjust the width or boldness and select convert to patch. Select it with the pick tool and select send to back. Then with the shape tool, select the curvy leaf and let's put one leaf on the right. Let's select it with the pick tool and select clone and do a flip left to right and to rotate it select the center with the control or command key which will engage the rotation arrows. Drag a corner to rotate it. And to move it, just move the circle in the center. With the Pick tool, select everything and select Wreath Maker and change the number of clusters to 10, the cluster spacing to 
and then move the resize clusters down so that we've got them nicely spaced. And I'm okay with having a hole in the center because we've got that wonderful ombre fabric. So select OK, go to the Color tab, and color this. And select Add to Project Sketchbook. Mm -hmm. Select the Quilt Work Table. Select Layer 2. Under Block Tools, select Set Block, and go to the Motifs tab, and drag the flower wreath on the quilt. Select it with the Adjust tool, and change the size to 28 by 28 and select center horizontally and vertically and select add to project mm -hmm. sketchbook thanks so much for watching for additional tips and techniques please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com